Pouring rain appropriate for protesters with the motto, be like water, as in be flexible. As darkness fell, clashes intensified. Saturday marks the fifth anniversary of a decision by China to limit democratic reforms in Hong Kong. Protesters threw bricks and beer bottle bombs and set fires in the street, not backing down from their current push for democratic reform. There were more arrests and reports of injuries. Police trying to head off the protesters taking to the subway. Officers fired tear gas and water dyed blue to mark and identify people. Referring to color of a different kind, on China Central Television, this scholar took the government line, calling this a color revolution, claiming these protesters are backed by evil Western forces. The protesters have Chinese faces, he says, but British or Canadian passports, anti-communist and anti-China. Yes, 300,000 Hong Kongers have Canadian passports, but for people who are living and working and making their life in Hong Kong, they are seeing this as a fight uh, to keep what they see as their distinct city uh, distinct. President of the Rideau Potomac Strategy Group Eric Miller says this isn't a foreign-influenced revolution. But on all the tension points with Beijing, he says Canada is stuck responding instead of playing offense. Canada doesn't have a viable China strategy. And so it's plain whack-a-mole, whether it's the Meng Wanzhou case or whether it's the detention of uh, the two Michaels uh, or the bar on canola exports. In this case, Canada has spoken out against the violence in Hong Kong. Earlier this month, Foreign Affairs Minister Christian Freeland said Canada supports Hong Kong's high degree of autonomy from China and peaceful right to protest, earning her a direct rebuke from the Chinese embassy here in Ottawa.